back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Do you remember last week's experiment on polymers? Well, today we're going to look at polymers again, a particular polymer as a matter of fact. We're going to look at the polymer gum. We're going to find out if the temperature of water affects the polymer gum. Do you remember what a polymer is? Remember, it is a material of molecules in a long repeating chain. I know those are just some good words for chemistry, but you're going to learn the mystery of polymers today during this experiment. Remember, if you have not subscribed to my channel and you didn't get a chance to watch that video last week, then click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos where I teach you science. And you can go back and watch that last video from last week where we made putty. All right, well, we're going to get started on today's video. We're going to explore together polymers. Today, we're doing an experiment with gum. Remember, gum is a polymer. A polymer is anything that is stretchy, flexible, and pliable. In this article with Scholastic News Super Science, Sticky Business, it's about a young lady named Anna Bullis in England. Anna had a problem with people putting gum everywhere, so she decided that she could recycle gum and create new products. And out of that came her company called The Gum Drop. She made rulers, rain, boat, um, rain boots, and other materials that she could sell using gum. She worked with chemists, she worked with engineer designs, and she came up with a prototype for where people could put gum into these dispensers instead of putting it on the ground so they could, could not step in it anymore. I want you to read this article about sticky business and do the investigate part along with it on page nine. Now, we're going to explore together doing the stretch test. Materials needed for this experiment is paper and pencil, something to record your information on, thermometers, some type of measuring tool, I have a tape measure, gum, I have juicy fruit and extra, any type of gum with sugar will work, two cups, you will need warm water, and cold water and paper towels. If you have gloves, that will help also, but not needed. For the stretch test, you will make, need to make this chart. You will need to have test, test one, cold water, test two, warm water, test three, cold, test four, warm, test five, cold, test six, warm. You will need on your chart temperature for you to record, length, and your observation. Pause the video and make the chart. Okay, let's get started. Step one, we're going to take the temperature of our water. We have our thermometer. This is the warm water. And the thermometer for the cold water. We're going to let this sit for 30 seconds. You can pause the video and go ahead and take your temperature and come back in a minute or 30 seconds. Okay, so let's check our temperature. Let's check to see. The warm water is recording at 82 degrees. 82 degrees. So we're going to record on our form. I'm going to record 82 degrees and I want you to record on your form the temperature you have for warm water.
and we're doing Fahrenheit. If you do Celsius, make sure you put a C. Now let's check the temperature of the cold water. The cold water temperature is 43 degrees Celsius. I'm going to record 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now that we have the temperature of both warm water and cold water, the next step you're going to need one piece of gum and you're going to need a timer for this one. You can use your phone, you can use your uh, watch, wherever you have a timer, you're going to use the timer. You're going to unwrap your gum and you're going to chew your gum for one minute. Pause the video, chew for one minute, and come back for the next step. Now that you've chewed your gum, remove it, and we're going to put our gum into the cold water first, and we're going to let it sit for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds is up, we're going to take it out Remove some of the water using our paper towel and then we're going to stretch to measure using our measuring source. All right, so let's put it in. Get your timer ready. Put your gum in and start for 30 seconds. While you're waiting, I want you to think, what is, what, how is your gum going to be when you take it out? What will it feel like? What will it look like? How will it react to stretching? We're almost through. All right, stop. Let's take the gum out. This is why you would need gloves. And I'm going to remove the water and now I'm going to sand and I'm going to stretch out my gum starting at the one so you can see starting at the one and just hold it and stretch it out all right so that's as far as mine could go and I have 37, 37 centimeters. We're measuring in centimeters. Okay, let's record. I'm going to use a different color for cold. 37 centimeters. Make sure you record yours. All right. Next step, and this is why it's good to have some kind of covering um, on your table or your desk because it will get messy and you need to have, you know, gloves because it does get sticky. All right, because remember, this is a polymer. All right, so we're going to put that one over to the side to throw away. Let's get our next piece of gum. We're going to go through the same process. The only difference is this time we're going to chew it for one minute and then we're going to put it in the warm water. Do you think it will stretch farther in the warm water compared to the cold water? All right, so let's start and chew. Let's remove our gum. Get your timer ready. We're going to put it in the warm water for 30 seconds. Begin. Now I want to tell you that I'm using the sugar-free gum. Your results may be different from mine if you're using juicy fruit or some type of gum that has sugar in it. All 
Okay, we're almost there. What do you think is going to occur next? All right, that's pretty close. Let's take it out, get our paper towel. Ooh, there we go. All right. We're going to start at this end. Slowly begin to pull it. Keep going. Oh my, I can still keep going. All right, I'm going to stop right here. Mine stopped at 96 centimeters. 96 centimeters. What a difference between cold water and warm water. Why do you think it stretched farther in warm water compared to cold water? I want you to complete the rest of the trials. You're going to go back. You have more gum. You're going to do the next cold water again. Remember your steps. You're going to time it for 30 seconds, chew for one minute, then time for 30 seconds in the water. Then do uh, number four, the warm water, and number five, cold, and number six, warm. One of the things that we uh, also want to do is under the observation, go ahead and record how the gum felt when you took it out of the cold water. How did the gum feel? when you took it out of the warm water. What did the gum do when you began to stretch it in the cold water compared to the warm water? Write all of your observations down. One of the tips I will give you is to make sure once you start stretching, don't stop, just keep going and it'll continue to move even if it looks like it'll break just keep stretching but once it breaks you do want to stop but you can measure at the last point where you stopped at not the breaking point that will be okay. did you enjoy that experiment as much as i did i hope you did and i hope you learned some things while you were testing out i want you to compare how's the gum how did it feel? How did it look when you took it out of the cold water compared to taking it out of the warm water? I want you to tell me what are some polymers that you use every day? Come up with a list. If you're not sure, you can look on the computer and do some research or just look around your home or at school. Now, we can take this test a little farther. I want you to wonder and to inquire a little bit more by investigating bubble gum or investigating sugar-free gum. Is there a difference in the these polymers using different ingredients? Remember, uh, Anna Bullis, she used chewed up old gum and recycled it to make new things that you use or we use all the time. And so polymers are very useful to us in everyday life. I hope you enjoyed today and I look forward to seeing you next week in our next experiment. Have a wonderful day.